Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a fun, very fast and easy project for you all to do. Um, all you're going to need is some paper, some sequins or some sprinkle stuff, whatever you might have in your stash, and um, some kind of cello or plastic, and then your basics, your glue, all of that good stuff. I am going to use my sewing machine today. You certainly don't have to. Uh, for most of these, uh, you can do something different. Um, but for ours, we're going to do some basic sewing, just simple zigzags and straight stitches. So here is what we're going to do. Um, on a previous video, I did some swing pockets. This was one of them. Um, and... Oh, this is an envelope. And in there, we did the little sequin tag. So we are going to make a couple of those. This one I did as an envelope, and I'll show you how I did this. This is just a regular envelope that I um, was experimenting with. So we'll do that one as well, but we're gonna start really basic. Um, so I've got my sequence. I actually, off camera, did my sequence in advance because that's messy. So be warned that it is a messy little project if you uh, are using glitter or sequence, beware. Um, so all you're gonna need is a piece of, this is like from a CD cover. These are um, what you would put a card in and something happened to these. They're like sticky on the side. So I've been using that little baby stack up that I had. Um, so it depends. What we're going to make is either journal cards, uh, little tucks and such, and then I'll show you how to make the card as well. So all you're going to do is make sure that for these, this is gonna be a journal card and I'm gonna move that up just a smidge because I don't like that edge. And I'm gonna make it simpler. This this is wiggly, I'm sorry, Landon's out mowing. Um, this gets a little wiggly, so what I would suggest is using some kind of clip while you're cutting this. And I, I just do it on my trimmer just because it stays in place and it trims real, really, really slick. Um, I can't wait to do a project with just these CD covers because I've got so many things I want to try with them. Okay, so all you're going to do is... Cut this to size. Now, if you're putting this inside of something, like we did the um, swing pockets or this, where's that card? Or this card, you're gonna wanna remember to make it a little bit larger than your opening. So just don't, don't forget that. Now, all you're gonna do is you're going to, whoop, I can't see that. Move your junk out of the way. The, the other thing that I'm going to show you, obviously these are really super cute, um, but I have some things that are really not very cute, like really pretty ugly. And I've had them in my stash and they were actually on the pile for, there's my, hold on, on the pile to donate because I just thought that they were super not me and I probably would never use them. But I am going to show you how to, use up some of those embellishments that you don't really love <coughs> and turn them into something pretty spectacular. So this is one. All right, so I've cut that to size, easy peasy. I'll cut that or sew the rest up. So then what you're gonna do is sew on three sides. Now, if you do not have a sewing machine, you could hand stitch it. Um, you could glue it. If you're gluing it, you may want to consider doing a border around it so that it covers it up and then you've got kind of a, is that making sense? So if you don't, 
have something, you're just gonna cut out like a frame or a window for it. And then you can glue one piece to the frame. Just pretend this is a frame. <laughs> and then, then you can have your back piece of paper and then you can glue three sides of it. Then you stick your sequence glitter or other sprinkly embellishment inside. And man, and okay, so I'm, I mean, I love glitter, right? But I'm not big into, I got too much now. I'm not really big into sequins and these came in some of the, um, yard sale and auction finds that I have. I got way too much in there. Okay, that's still too much. You just kind of eyeball it and then very gently and carefully, that's probably good. We don't need a lot in there. And then you're just going to zip up this other uh, side. So let me do that really quick and then we'll make a few more so you can see the finished product. Okay. And there you have it, a little shaker card. And you can put that in as a pocket or a tuck, or you can use them um, as little note cards, whatever your little heart desires. So we're gonna try a couple more of these, but I wanna show you with some of these, what I call not pretty embellishments. So I've got this one that is just from uh, an advertisement from a pack of paper that I bought. And this really boring plain cardstock and then these also came in a kit I wasn't really totally thrilled with them when I got them but I think we can make them pretty cute and instead of what I thought we would do is put this in the middle and maybe adhere that and maybe adhere another one do we want three? And then what if we just sprinkle in a butterfly and a dragonfly and not actually put those on there? I don't know what will happen. We'll just try it out. So we're gonna go ahead and do this first. What was that all about? Alexa's doing something, something, something. that one just on the edge and cut it off. There we go. And we might add a few little embellishments too. I'm not embellishment, sequence in there too. Okay, so let's cut this end off. I got a little there. And I don't know. I don't know why I just am not a big fan of these, but I wasn't loving them. Stick that there. All right, so we know we're gonna put these in there. And you know, for this one, you can probably, you could probably just stick them in there before you sew them. But we need a topper. So let's make one. This is that sticky one. I wonder if this will fit the one that I just did and I can make another one off camera. And Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Okay, let me go off camera. Well, let's see. Let me go off camera and sew this one up. And I'll sew this one up really quick too. And then we can add stuff to them. Um, and while we're at it, let's just do this one too. I just think this one is really, really boring. So I'm going to add some of this pinky color to the edge before I sew it. Oh, it's even got a little tear in there, so that should be. And these are just scratch pieces that I had lying around. Um, so I think I'm gonna do, do that and kind of 
that little piece that I didn't see before. Just cover that up. Let's see, maybe we'll just do all of these and get them ready and then I'll sew, sew them up on three sides and then we'll add the pretties to them. Okay, that one's done. And then this one, okay, super cute on this side, right? Not so super cute on this side. So I have got some stickers and I thought, well, I'll just put that right in the middle. And then someone can write still on that side and then we'll fill this with some pretties. Let's set these aside and I will be right back. I'm gonna sew these three up and this one on three sides and then we'll fill them with love. So stand by. All right, we are ready to rock and roll. Even with, I've got to seriously do some maintenance on my sewing machine. Of course, I don't think about it until I need it. All right, so we're just going to put in all of our goodies and See if we can get these in here without them flip, flipping over. So far, so good. Dragonfly. All right, these. I sorted through this. I have this whole thing. A prize in one of my auction boxes. And... Uh, there's a bunch of Christmas in there, so I had to, every time I want to use these, I got to go through each project. Okay, so now just imagine. Oh, I better not shake it until we get it done. So that one's finished. Let's see. Let's see if I can just get these. This is the thinner, this was the sleeve of the, for a greeting card. And they see they get like static electricity. So cute. Look, I mean, even already, look how cute they are. And these were really not very attractive. Um, embellishments. Okay, this one. This one have a little red, white, and blue to it. I don't know if I can get all that in there like that. Oh, crud. Crud nuggets. Nope, not working. That's what I get for taking shortcuts. Hang on. Hardest part, you could use a little, oh, I have one of those things for all the embellishments that you put in a little tray, but do you think I'm using it? No. Okay, last one. What shall we use? Should we use these? Sure, why not? I didn't even use these. Maybe we need to add a few of those too. I think we do. To the zinnias. I love zinnias. I just don't know why I'm not attracted to those. Let's see. Always do less is more because you don't need as many as you think you need. Okay. And I'll sew the rest of those off camera for you. But we're going to move on and I'm going to show you how to do this card. Let's add a little bling to our zinnias. Of course, Landon went back outside to finish mowing and now the dog wants out. Not happening. Okay. So this is probably the most not attractive of all of them. <laughs> uh, again, this was something that came, I did not buy it, but I have a bunch of these die cuts that are kind of like this. Like I have some, there's this fly that's all running around here. Um, I have, I don't know, there's like hot dogs and <laughs> all kinds of silly, you know, brightly colored things, but just are a little outdated. I'm not sure. These are probably from the 90s. Um, but I also found this that I thought would be super cute um, to put, like just say at the bottom, there was a, 
And it said, you're very kind. You can kind of say what you want to say before they open their package. But for this one, we're going to just make it a birthday package. And this, I found this scrap that's about the size of the actual piece that we're going to make. So here's how I did this. Let me get my sample out. All I did is <clears throat> turn my envelope this way. And I took, you could probably take a... Um, I was just looking at where this is from. Um, a letter opener and use that. It would work. I just used my awl. And I just went down the edge like this. So we'll do it on this side because I haven't done this side yet. I wanted to test it because it works slick on this one. I Some, you know, are not as easily, are, as, are not as easy to open. Okay, so now it's open. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we got to decide where we want. And oh, by the way, <laughs> this is how I decided what, uh, how big and what shape this is going to be. It's my Yeti. So the bottom of my Yeti was how big I made that. Just in case you were wondering. That's a 32, I think, ounce Yeti. So <laughs> if you happen to have one of those. Okay, so now not, so I'm not to get distracted. I was thinking just... Um, kind of right in the middle. So the reason I'm doing this is I want my, I want this to be right in the center of it. So I want it to fit right on there. I'm going the other way, obviously, right? But I want to make sure that then I make my piece of cellophane or plastic. Oh my, what was that? A smidge larger. Than this. So I'm going to use one of these scraps and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out now and see it's not going to matter where it ends on that end. I'm just going to make this, I'm just going to cut this almost to the end there. Okay. So now imagine this. It's hard to see with that glare on it. I, it looks like I got some. Oh, Angela. Hold one moment. Let's see if I can get that off. My sticky fingers from all that glue. I must have got some on there. Why is any? Why don't you lay down? Oh, do you want up? Hold on. Let me move my. Okay, get up there. Go lay down. Fantastic dog does not want to be out of the fun and excitement. So if she can't be with Landon, well, she's going to be with me. Okay, so then we'll end up closing that up, just gluing this back down. So you guys know, if you've watched some of my other videos, my little trick to cutting these out pretty uh, easily. If you don't have an X-Acto knife or um, a box cutter. And I'm going to just, I'm going to actually use the box cutter, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So all you do is poke a hole with an awl or scissors or whatever pokey device you have, and then go to the corners of each one. And then cut around. It makes it so much easier. You don't get rips, tears. Oops, that one got a little bit off. Um, it's not going to matter because I'm just using my um, box cutter. Now, if you have a box cutter, then you're just simply going to cut right down those lines. And I am not so great at fussy cutting and I don't like to use big scissors. So for me... This is a win a win a chicken tenna. So what have you guys all been up to? I, um, I've just been enjoying not having to 
run around and have a schedule. Like, I know, does that sound dumb? But I mean, every day Demi had softball games and which I love to watch, don't get me wrong. What did I do with that piece of paper? Oh, here it is. Um, I love to watch her games. It's It brings me happiness. But always having um, something going on every single day, it gets kind of exhausting. But hey, I got to work on my tan. That was good. Which I need to work on again because I'm kind of losing it. Um, so I'm enjoying that, but I haven't really done anything other than work and do family stuff. So I'm excited. We are, I don't know, maybe I've said it before. We're planning a trip to the Boundary Waters in September. And so I'm excited for that. As long as all goes well, look how pretty that is. Now, if you already had a piece of junk mail, this will work perfectly well. The only thing that you're going to have to do is um, add a piece to the back. So what we need to do is make sure that when we close this, I'm just going to tack this just for a sec. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Holy cow. Let's see. I'm just going to make sure that it fits in, in there correctly when we close it. And it does. la -ti da So let's just go ahead and tack the rest of it down. Uh, so that, oh gosh, I just ripped this all the way apart. See what I'm saying? It was, This is probably from the 80s or the 90s. <laughs> it's for Jilly. Oh, we'll make it work. It's fine. Uh... So I've been kind of working on making plans for that and what we can do. The guys are all going on a kayak trip. So they'll be gone for pretty much, they'll be there the first day and then they'll be there uh, the last day. Nope, that has to come down. Where was, where was this stuck to? Gosh, Angela, it must've been right there. Okay, that's good. Now, we need to put the other piece of cellophane on there. And that one also needs to be a little bit bigger. So, let's see. I'm probably going to have to cut this, cut this. See how that has that little thingy on it? Um, so, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, other than that, I think I already told you about my 177 mile yard sale that we're going to go to. So that will be exciting. That's coming up. And then we haven't really planned beyond that, but the kids start back to school at the end of the month. Um as do probably all of yours, right? So this is gonna be a little bit different in that I really cut that close, so we're gonna have to do a straight stitch and we'll see what happens. Uh, so for as far beyond that, um, we're, we're taking the kiddos out of school for the Boundary Waters trip, but other than that, we don't have any family trips planned and we're all agreeing that we need a something. We need to do something. So I don't know what that something is going to be. We'll figure it out. Okay, let's see here. Oh, goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, it's okay. What we're going to do, I'm going to put this in here right now. Is this the one I wanted? Well, it's going to be. Okay. Now, I need tweezers. Oh, dang, nab it. Okay. Well, I guess it didn't get on there. So let's just 
spread that out. And then we're just gonna lay this on top of it. And I'm pretty sure as long as you're using, especially if you're using Fabric Fix, this is probably all you really need to do. But I, because this is so not attractive to me, um, we are gonna sew it. Now, I don't wanna move this. I don't wanna close it and raise it back up until I've sewn all the way around it. So I'm gonna hop over, I'm gonna sew this up and I'll sew the rest of those up so you guys can see the finished products and then we'll put this back together and we will be done. Hang tight. Okay, this is some great news. I figured I made a couple mistakes. For example, I started straight stitching on this one, but I was trying to figure out troubleshoot as I was going along and I think I solved the problem with my sewing machine. I just, it wasn't catching on the back and I, that was probably user error. So I'm sure you can all rest easy now that my sewing machine problems are, are solved at least for the moment. But here's what we got. Um, all pretty as a picture. Um, and so you could use these for gift tags. You could, I mean, we could punch one of these and put something, some cute tags on it, which we may do in a minute. Um, this would be a good journal card because there's lots of space to journal. A tuck, a pocket, you know, just the opportunities for these are just endless, aren't they? So I hope you guys try these. Let's finish this one up. We're going to go, these go down first. Now do not just beware, do not glue here because if you're going to put something inside of it, it may not fit. So you want to remember this is envelope size. I'm just going to pull that little excess off and put this right here. That's it. Kind of exactly where you already opened it up. You can also, if you if you do have a boogery one and you really want to use that Pacific, Pacific envelope, that's what my kids used to say, um, then you could steam it. You know you guys can do that. It works really well. And there you have it. I just went a little wonky because I um, was trying really hard to figure out my problems with my computer but how or with my sewing machine but how fun is that like just so that they can see you know something fun inside now um when you put the remember that when you put whatever it is in there um that is what they're gonna see when you give it to them so if this were their card hang on they would be seeing that. So you, the intent was that whatever went in here would be pretty. And then when they pulled it out, this would be remaining. So it's still kind of a cute little gift. If you did not want to do that, then you would just need to make sure that this, whatever your embellishment is, was in between with the sequence. So there you have it. A quick and easy way to get rid of your scraps and to find some fun things to do with um, all of those leftover, not that we don't have enough, right? I mean, we can always find uses for that leftover cello um, and plastic, but it's kind of just a, another little way to use them up and have plenty of pocket or um, tucks and journal cards on hand because I find when I am on a mission to complete a journal and then I need to stop and do um, tucks and pockets and all that kind of stuff, I I get side sidetracked and I get <laughs> totally into that and then I get nothing else done. So um, I hope that you give these a try. They are very, very fun. Please um, feel free to comment if you have questions, if there was something I didn't cover. Um, and let me know if you guys are a part of our To Restore You page or if you have a 
pick that you want to share on here. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And uh, I look forward to talking to you next time. Until then, uh, take time, just be, and have a great rest of the week. Cheers.